Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Welcome back to L'Aigle, which I am butchering the pronunciation, but it's French for the eagle. And so that's what we're going to call it moving forward. Uh, I am playing as a Prussian, uh, known as the History Guy. And if you watch the first episode, you kind of know where we're picking up. We're only on day two. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, I'll put a link in the description below. It'll probably also be at the end of the video. You can follow along. But where we're at now is I've got two soldiers with me. And I'm only at half health, so we've got to recover a little bit. But in the meantime, I can upgrade these guys uh, to a musketeerman there. And then this guy here, I can go to a grenadier or a musketeer. And I think I'll go to a grenadier for now. I'm not entirely sure the difference. I guess that's something I'm going to have to research a little bit. In the meantime, I'm thinking I want to try and gather up some more troops. Start getting a few horsemen. So what i eventually like to do is be able to have... A decent amount of men, and I, can, I think I can lead up to about 40 right now. Um, so I can uh, have a nice base of fire. I can fire a volley, and then once that happens, I can send in the horsemen to run down whoever wasn't shot in the volley. In the meantime, we're going to head for to head back to Prussia, which is kind of my home uh, land, but uh, I guess I've got to find a place to cross the river. I think up here near Magdeburg I can do that. I believe that was where I crossed before, but I could be wrong about that. I guess, yep, we can cross here. Perfect. So we're going to head over here to the, the military depot. Uh, I believe there I will be able to volunteer for the Prussian military. Uh, and, and so I'm curious to do that um, and see what that allows for me. Uh, and if I haven't already pointed this out, and, and I need to do this now, I have turned the music off, which is really unfortunate because I love the music and it adds so much to the game. But unfortunately, it causes... Um, YouTube to flag my video for um, violations of copyright so uh, it was only one particular song in the soundtrack but unfortunately that's the way it goes so we're gonna request entry into the castle after a brief wait the guard opens the gates for you and allows your party inside you're at the military depot in Prussia you see the banner of August Niedhart von Gneisnau of Das Königreich Prussen that's the kingdom of Prussia over the castle gate uh, go to the headquarters, walk around the parade ground, enlist volunteers. Awesome. Five men. Um, light cavalry. Yes, please. That's going to probably cost me, but hey, let's go to the headquarters and see if we can volunteer for the military. I'm not sure if this is where we do that, but we're going to find out here in just a second. Uh, that's just a common soldier there. I think I probably want the leader. Hello, I am History Guy at your service, sir. Sounds kind of like uh, something from Hamilton. Are you Aaron Burr, sir, at your service, sir? Uh, I am August Niedhart, uh, the guy we already said, uh, a vassal of the King of Prussia and the Lord of the Military Depot in Prussia. Awesome. Speak your peace. That should be P-E-A-C-E -E, or be off in good order. Um, do you have any tasks for me? I have something you could help with, an issue with the lawless villain known as Jan Delacroix. Sounds French. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. I can't let him get away with avoiding justice, so I've put a bounty of 30 francs on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon that the assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman at a Polnish Krone. You might be able to hunt him down and give, what, give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for, your, for yourself. All right, cool. So my... Apparently, my relation with him was not so good, and it's gone up slightly. Uh, that's one of the cool things about this game, Mountain Blade, and of course with all the mods, the same thing, is that you develop relationships with these different characters, and they can go up and down depending on who and what you choose to do. You can also meet women. Uh, she's not a particularly pretty one, but seems to be well endowed. Not that I'm looking at that. But uh, I say you don't look familiar. I am History Guy, yes. Uh, can I help you with anything? I want to know the location of someone. May I have the honor of knowing more about you, my lady. Uh, I Oh, she's his wife. Okay. Um, or no, she's the mother of the guy I just talked to. So, okay. So, yeah, I guess I can't. Yeah. Uh, thank you um, for that nice little chat, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead and leave. Uh, I, I want to stop by a town real quick. We'll stop in Potsdam. I got some stuff I need to sell off. Uh, to kind of unload my uh, burden a little bit here. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, they have no money, so that's not really going to help me at all. The only thing I can do is buy some supplies and kind of tr trade 
a little bit of what I have for what they have uh, just to kind of break even and I'm not quite breaking even yet and, and these dried meat and things like that the the bread they all add to the party morale uh, so those are good things to do uh, I must pay 42 francs so I need to sell some things that are gonna get me up to that uh, what about one of these pistols not quite here, there yet okay um, even these guns are not particularly valuable we're almost there though one more and there we go thank you I don't think I actually did I yeah I did okay perfect wasn't sure if I actually took the time to uh, exchange that or not okay I guess we're not gathering any troops there so uh, we've got to take a look now and see where it is that this person um, supposedly is and I can't remember the name of the guy so you know what we actually need to do is go to the quest screen hunt down Jan Delacroix uh, so we have 30 days to finish this quest it is April 20th or April 12th 1809 uh, and here we go Polnish Krone it's in near Kunitz uh, it, it is in the kingdom of Prussia so let's show on the map perfect all right so it's a major city it's up near this area so that's where we're headed we may make some stops along the way but uh, just for the, the the sake of expediency for this video I will drop out unless something interesting happens that I need to deal with oh wait there's some highwaymen right here I think I can take on seven highwaymen you know what I'm going to stop somewhere first. I need a few more men. I'm not going into another battle outnumbered and getting kind of wiped wiped up from that. So uh, let's get a little bit more. We're going to go some light infantry here. Perfect. Start, stop by Sagan. Do the same thing. Some more. Oh, eight men. Only half can ride a horse. That's okay. Awesome. All right. Now we have 15. Excellent. Now I'm feeling a little better about things. So if I run into somebody, perfect. If not, we're going to go ahead and make our way up here and hunt this guy down. All right, we're here. Let's go in and see if we can find this guy. After, oh man, we can get 10 more guys? Okay. Um, all right. If I get a smaller amount, I'll probably recruit him as, as cavalry, but I'm going to go ahead and recruit these guys as line infantry. All right, now we need to go in and start asking around about where this dude is and how I track him down with my now 25 man force so uh, it's raining hey I got a sweet hat though look at that nice it's raining and I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna end up having to go against this guy one-on-one -on -one. I hear chickens clucking there's the tavern I think that's probably a good place to start no uh, I guess the taverns closed or that's just not an option Hello, sir. Might you be able to help me find this guy? Yes, you. Villager, hello. I'm looking for Jan Delacroix. Strangers come and go in our village, sir. If he's hiding here, you will surely find him if you look around. Thanks for nothing. All right, looks like lots of people over this way. How about these people standing in a field? Do they look kind of shady? Villager, villager. No, no. Hello? Yeah, that was completely unhelpful also. And it looks like I'm gathering a bit of a uh, following here. All right. What about this dude over here in front of this really tall skyscraper looking building? I, I joke skyscraper, but four stories. I mean, that's a pretty good size for 1809, I guess. Village Elder. Now there's the guy I need to talk to. Hello, sir. Okay, that's kind of pointless. All right, I'm going to look around. When I find him, I will come back. So after passing about 30 or so villagers, I see this interesting fellow way off in the distance that looks like maybe he's just waiting for me to come out and confront him. I think this is our guy. Nervous Man. Yes. Hello, Nervous Man. I'm going to pull out my sword while I talk to you, sir. I am looking for the murderer by the name of Jan Delacroix. You fit his description. I don't understand. I never killed anybody. You've got the wrong man. 
Uh, surrender yourself. If you are innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors, and if they verify your story, I will go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your coin today. Uh, all right. I come not for money, but to execute the law. Die, dog. All right. Yeah, guess what? I have a sword and you have a club. This will not end well for you. You're getting bloody, sir. Yeah, that's right. Nervous man killed by history guy. And my relationship with the town has apparently deteriorated as a result. Um, I don't want to take your club. I guess I just have to go and report back to the people. Or to the guy. Um, yeah, we're going to leave now. Let's check in on the quest. The quest has been successfully completed. Go back and talk to guy to claim my reward. So let's do that. And we'll just kind of watch along the way. And see if there's anybody that I might maybe cause a little trouble with here. Because I'm, I'm in the mood to battle with my new 25-man little force that I've got here. All right, so we're back at the military depot. Let's approach. Uh, we're going to request to meet with our dude. We meet again, history guy. Yes, sir. Um, about the task you gave me. Yes, I found him and gave him his punishment. And we'll be a lot better without him. Thank you, history guy, for removing this long festering thorn from my side. 30 gold and not a copper, not a copper less. I got 300 experience. I've advanced to level 4. Thank you. Yes, I will take the money. Uh, my reputation increased ever so slightly. Uh, how about, do you have any other tasks? No? Okay, awesome. I can ask you, uh, let's see. How goes the war? Oh, we're at war with Russia, apparently. Okay. The war's barely begun. So, and it is too early to say who is winning and who is losing. Uh, King Friedrich Wilhelm III feels that he must pursue the war against the uh, Imperial. Uh, the Tsar, basically, Alexander the First, for a little while longer for the sake of honor. All right. Uh, that's all I wanted to know for now. Uh, let me ask, what would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? It's our custom to seal any such alliances with marriage. Unfortunately, no one in my household is eligible to wed. Thank you very much, sir. We will take our leave. I'm going to go hunting a little bit for some people that I can get into a fight with. Uh, maybe some highwaymen or something. And then I'll go looking for some more... Uh, quests after that so i decided that i would stop by this army of 200 men that was passing by and see if i could interact with their commander a guy named, by the name of carl ludwig von fuhl uh, so i'm going to introduce myself he's a vassal of the king of prussia prussia uh, and he's the lord of pritzvok which is actually the town i just came from another prophet here come to prey on the war-torn nation Eh? no not not at all uh, i've actually come to uh, ask you if you have any tasks so you know I am the lord of the village of Pritzbach. However, it has been months since they uh, have delivered the taxes and rents due to me. All right. So I guess I've got to go and demand they pay their taxes, and he will give me one-fifth of everything that I collect. All right. So it seems like these little tasks, man, they don't really improve your standing with them all that much. So I guess it's just going to take a lot of time. It's only April 14th of 1809, so... Uh, I'm barely a week into uh, this game for myself, but I'm not necessarily sure this is going to go very well. As the party member with the highest trade skill, you expect that collecting taxes from here will take two days. Start collecting. Awesome. So I guess uh, people of Pritzbach are outraged at your demands and decry it as nothing more than extortion. They're getting very restless and they may react badly if you keep pressing them. Um... No, we're going to ignore them and continue. Man, I am raking it in right now. Jeez. How long does this go for? What? Jerome Napoleon uh, has Napoleon has uh, besieged uh, Vienna. Interesting. Is that Vienna? I wonder. Collected 3,281 francs in taxes. Dang. Okay, let's go find the, the guy. Where did he go? I guess I'm just going to have to, like, ask where he is. Otherwise, I'm walking around with all this money. I guess, you know what? I could probably take off with it. I don't think I'd ever be able to show my face to that guy again, but... 
it's interesting as you kind of play along you see little things happening like battles are going on you know the world c continues even while all this is going on is this my guy no it's not i wonder if i i stop and talk to this patrol if i can maybe find out where he is or maybe talk to this these guys here hello hello i'm looking for someone at your service sir Keep your head about you and suspect everyone. You may go far with that. Uh, do you have any tasks for me? Uh, I need to know where. Who's the guy I'm looking for? You know, I can't even remember his name now. I just know he's the lord of that town I just came from. Well, that's not particularly helpful to me, is it? All right, we're going to stop and figure out what's going on here. All right, so here's the guy I'm looking for, Karl Ludwig von Fuhl. And uh, he's a subject, of course, of the king of Prussia. Uh, he's got high renown. He's got a little bit of controversy. He's 32. He has a, a sister. I wonder if she's married. Let's take a look. She's only 21. Interesting. Maybe we should go find out about the sister of Karl Ludwig. That might be a person for us. Uh, so last we saw him, he was outside of Potsdam. So he was in this area. So we're going to have to see if we can find out um, if this guy knows where he is. Here we go. Uh, close to Berlin. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Which I don't think... Yeah, we're not far from Berlin. Okay. So I get turned around so I can see a little better. See if we can find our man. That's him right there, isn't it? No. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to find someone. We're, we're in a worse mood. You would be dangling from a noose for interrupting me. You're a nice guy. All right, just tell me where my man is, and I'll be on my way. I won't bother you further. Near uh, Munkenberg, okay. So at least I know what direction he's headed now. He's over heading over this way. He must be heading heading east, maybe towards Russia to fight. Interesting. Is that my guy? Yeah, that's him. I stand corrected. He's going to Berlin. Okay. And so are we. All right, maybe we'll go to the city hall. That's probably where he is. Ah, nice little place. Hey, they got paintings on the wall and everything. Pretty fancy. All right. Hello, sir. You are not the one I wish to talk to. I wonder if Carl Ludwig's sister is here, though. We're going to find out. There's my man. Hello, sir. We meet again. Yes, about that task you gave me. Here are all the taxes. Nicely done. 657 gold for me. And my relationship with him slightly improves. Now, I want to ask you about your sister. Uh, is our custom seal any alliances? Yeah, hey. In fact, we have been looking for a suitable groom for my sister, Lady Elian. May I once again suggest that I be considered as a groom? Yeah, he's thinking you are not nearly worthy enough for that. All right, so... Do you have any other tasks for me? You have a letter. Um, you got to send to the guy that I just talked to. Okay, interesting. So we'll go ahead and deliver your letter for you, no problem. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do that. I just, I guess, if I head in that direction, then awesome. Um, one man volunteers. We're going to put him in the line cavalry. All right, let's find a fight to get into. We are due for a fight. I need to find somebody to go after. So I'm going to hunt around a little bit here, and when I find some highwaymen or somebody that looks like they uh, are just causing trouble, we're going to deal with them. So it just occurred to me, I forgot about this, that uh, after that last little um, thing I did, I've actually got some leveling up to do here. So uh, I think we're going to go with one-handed weapons to get my sword skill up a little bit. Uh, really not a need for anything else there. How about tracking? We need to get that up so it makes it a little easier for me to go after people. Uh, and we'll go agility as well. All right, good enough. Level four now. All right, let's continue the pursuit. All right, so I haven't been able to find anybody to get into trouble with so far, but here is the king's army. And we're going to catch up with the king's army, not because I want to try and pick a fight with the king, 
but because I want to meet him and start establishing a relationship. So here he is, King Friedrich Wilhelm III. Do I know you? I am history guy at your service, sir. I am uh, King Friedrich Wilhelm III, the ruler of the uh, Kingdom of Prussia and the Lord of Berlin, Prussia, uh, Kurnitz, Koslin, Poznitz, Kron, and Mirakal. All right, awesome. That's a mouthful. I'm always in the need of able officers. An army which cannot be reinforced is doomed, after all. Awesome. Um, then what do I do to uh, become a part of your army? Well, no. Okay. Uh, what would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? No, that's not what I want. I actually want to get involved in the war. Um, yeah. How do I enlist, sir? All right, I guess I can't right now. All right, on we go. At least we've met the king now. So I guess we should probably go ahead and deliver that letter. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to see if I can't find something. I want to get at least one battle in on this episode, so I've got to find somebody to fight. Aha! We have seen some bandits, and they are running from me. They're running at a speed of 7.1, which means they're way faster than I am. But, they're doing stupid things, like turning and going in different directions. Probably in part because they see other armies coming after them. So, I just gotta wait for them to make a mistake, and go in the wrong direction, and we will catch them. But it looks like my target has been lost. All right, we're going to keep hunting these guys down. We're going to find these bandits, and we're going to go fight them. Couldn't quite catch the bandits, but I've caught up with some deserters, and they will do just as well when I'm done with you. You'll regret leaving your army. I've got 28 troops against your 10. This should be fun. So I'm going to have to start learning how to handle a larger force in the field, and it's going to take some practice for me, but uh, we'll figure it out. We're going to go ahead and tell them to hold this position for now. Uh, obviously, we've got different kinds of, of troops available to me now, so I'm going to have to start getting used to uh, dealing with all of that. We're going to uh, issue some different commands. Let's go double rank formation. Um, how about use weapons at will? But I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to get my horsemen over here. I know there's a way to do that. Uh, and so let me just take a look real quick at the controls so I can make sure that I do this. We've got different groups. Uh, so I guess we just have to uh, press different numbers for different groups, and we'll see what those are here. Uh, let's see. One. There we go. Um, we need movement orders. No, that's not really helping me here. All right, we're just going to hang tight. Wait till these guys get here. We got a good position, I think, up here on the hill. Oh. Here, I, I was thinking I needed to reload, and I was already ready to go. So my men are in a good line and formation, ready to fire on these guys. There's only ten of them. All right, open up, boys. Do it. There you go. These are my more advanced troops, of course, right here, these two guys with the uniforms. I'm going to have to get these horsemen um, figured out and, and order them to charge once we get into this a little more. So let's take a look and see if we can see where these guys even are. They're over here on the hillside, so we're going to have to probably deal with that at some point. It ain't going to work just like this. All right, so here we go. We hit backspace, and we can see uh, who we're dealing with, and we can uh, give them particular orders. Uh, we're going to tell the, the horsemen to follow me. And we're going to kind of try to get around here and get on these guys flank a little bit I did manage to kill one of them already so we're gonna let them keep shooting it out and just because I can I want to go ahead and after I get reloaded I'm gonna fire on these guys at least once oh they're gonna come to me excellent that guy just jumped down in front of that rock I know I'll never hit him from here but I certainly got to try all right, boys. Ah, there we go. Let's do this. Run them down. There's nine of them. I'm actually going to get here and around them. I mean, while they're focused on my infantry. I need a horse. I definitely need to get a horse. I'm going to get reloaded. I'm going to fire one more time, and then I'm going to send my horsemen up there to deal with them. 
We've killed two of them now. Ah, oh, the guy I was about to shoot just got killed. All right. Charge. Go. Go, 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 go. Do it. Yeah. Have some fun, boys. I definitely need to get a horse. Save one for me. I can't get through that tree, apparently. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I need to get a horse. These guys are running them down like nothing. I love it. Oh, no, no. Oh, why did it switch? That's my problem. It switched over to my... To my musket. Save him for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill him. Aw, oh, man. No fun. But, man, these horsemen are getting the job done. Nice. All right. No, I don't want to retreat. The battle's over. Okay, now I can hit it. All right, we killed all ten of them. No casualties on my side. That's the way I like it to be. Gain nine renown. And uh, a little bit of Franks, I guess. I don't know. We can at least sell some of this stuff here. Excellent. Thank you very much. So I got 18 Franks, 256 experience, and shared 950 within the party. We are ready to level some people up. Excellent. Definitely want to level up these horsemen. Uh, we're going to level them up. Very cool. A lot of people can be leveled up, actually. 10 ready to be upgraded. Very nice. Although it costs money and experience to do that, obviously. Oh, we're going to have a couple of uh, Dragoons. Very cool. Dang. Okay. Musketeers. Awesome. We're starting to get a little bit of an experienced force now. That'll definitely come in handy as things go along and we get into some more difficult tasks. Uh, I want to go over here real quick and just see what's happening. Because... Uh, Lanschut has been looted, and there's got to be somebody over here responsible for that. Uh, we're, we're in the area. Let me zoom out here and show you. We're kind of, I think we're down near Austria. Uh, okay, there we go. Got to turn all the way around. So, yeah, we're right near on the border of Austria and Bavaria, it looks like. But this looks like it belongs to Bavaria. Field has been looted. A handful of souls scatter as you pass through the burnout houses. So not really anything I can do there. I wonder if we can track down who did this. Let's go to Munich first, though. I believe that's uh, München is Munich. So we'll stop in here and see if I can get another quest. And I think we'll be pretty well ready to wrap this episode up. I'm going to see if we can enlist. Ooh, six men. Very cool. Uh, we're going to get some more cavalry, some light cavalry. Very cool. Um, City Hall. Let's see who in Munich I can... Ooh, very nice. I love the, the attention to detail with the paintings on the wall. Oh, very cool. I just love it. Very cool. Really neat stuff. It really feels like I'm in 1809. Uh, is there anybody I can talk to, though? Uh, just this woman here. Are there books I can read? I mean, why else would this be open like this? Uh, I guess just for decoration. Lady Borgia. I'm history guy at your service. Uh, you've not heard of me before. You will. You will, my lady. Yes. Oh, she's the wife of Jerome Napoleon Bonaparte. This is Napoleon's sister-in-law. Okay. Mother to Friedrich Wilhelm Theodor Wundt. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. Don't know me well enough to act on my behalf. I want to know well enough. Okay, so tell me where King Jerome Napoleon Bonaparte is. Uh, he is traveling to Munich, and he should be close to Salzburg at the moment. Okay. So I'm actually in Napoleon's territory right now, then. Let's see if we can go find what Jerome's up to. He's near Salzburg, so that should be over near, uh, closer to Austria. So he's somewhere in between here. All right. I still need to get a, a horse. Maybe I can get a horse in Austria. There's Jerome. Nope, that's not Jerome's party. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get a horse... Oh, man, there's a whole army marching out right there. That's probably where Jerome is. He's probably part of all that. It's going to be fun to get into some of those battles. All right, we're going to visit the marketplace. 
Uh, horse breeder, yes. What's the cheapest horse I can buy? Probably not one I can afford. Okay. I'll wait. Here we go. Yeah. Worn out hack. A lame British hussar's horse. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to go with, unfortunately. My, my riding skill is not high enough. Okay. Can I ride this terrible thing? No, I can't ride any horses at all. So I'm going to have to level up my riding horse first. In the meantime, uh, let's try to sell some stuff. Just to get it out of my inventory. Alright, so I'll deal with all this. And I'm going to see what I can do to level up my rising, riding score. All right, so I went ahead and did some trading. I also got myself a fancy new shirt. I think it looks a little nicer. It's basically about the same as far as the uh, things go. Now, you know what? I don't need a, a volunteer from Austria right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start heading back to our own territory, start looking for some more quests. I want to get involved in the army uh, so I can actually be a part of the army, start uh, ranking up as far as my... Um, my rank within the the army of Prussia goes. So we'll go ahead and ride our way back to Prussia, see if we can get involved in the army, and then we'll kind of go from there. Oh man, so I just happened on a battle that's happening here, uh, and I can see pretty clearly which side's going to win this one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump in on this bad boy on the victor's side, because clearly he's winning, and I don't want to be on the loser side and get owned. Uh, so let's take the field and get involved. Big battle going on here. We're on the side with 259 versus 53. So obviously it's going to take a little bit longer to load here. Um, all right. Let's go, boys. Follow me. Actually, you know what? Charge. Just uh, go on ahead of me because this is going to be over before... I even get that far without a horse. Maybe I can get enough points leveled up to where, um, although I'm not going to get any personal experience because I'm probably not going to get involved in this. But we're chasing down the enemy wherever he may be. Sir, could I have your horse, sir? Perhaps no? I guess not. Alright, my troops. Are those cannon? Did I see cannon back there? Awesome. Austrian artillerist killed by Carl. Oh, he, 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 the general himself killed one of the Austrian artillerists. That's awesome. Do I have my sword out? No, I'm punching right now. There's my sword. All right, come on. Save somebody for me, please. I doubt it's going to happen, but hey, you know, a guy can dream. There they are. They're running. Our cavalry's way up ahead. Because we joined in the middle of the battle, so it wasn't like we could really get involved in any kind of a line battle. The men are running. Hey, that's a horse! I want that horse! Please, let me take that horse. Can I just grab a horse on the battlefield? I'm certainly going to try. Come here, horsey horsey. You need a new owner. That's way better than buying one anyway. Oh, I can't ride it. Oh, it doesn't matter. What am I thinking? It doesn't matter if I see a horse if I can't ride the horse. Riding skill not adequate to mount. Alright. Well, that's disappointing. New enemies have arrived. Where? Where? I'm really disappointed I keep seeing these horses and I can't ride them. Alright. These are the new enemies, apparently. Alright, follow me, guys. Oh, I killed a guy. Nice. My first successful long range shot with a musket. It helps when they're bunched up like that. Come on, guys. Can we get involved here? Oh, hey. Hello. I just got shot, too. Oh, man. I got shot twice. Not cool. Run. Where are my men? They need to protect me. I am definitely going to get knocked out. Get back to the lines. And I'm down. All right. Not cool. Not a good day for me. I'm going to let these guys finish the battle and we'll see how it ends up. Alright, well it took a little while, but uh, the battle is at last won. But 
uh, not without great cost because a couple of times more enemies showed up. I wasn't expecting that, so I got in a little over my head. Uh, six of my men were killed, six were wounded, two were routed, 14 total casualties. Uh, so we definitely suffered a little bit there. Uh, my allies lost 18, so I lost almost half uh, of what was lost. But the Austrians suffered greatly. Um, so, hey, thanks for your help, stranger. Uh, we haven't met properly yet, have we? What is your name? Uh, yes, I am History Guy. Thank you, sir. Well met, History Guy. I'm Carlo Philip von Vried. Thanks for your help, and I hope we meet again. Good. Could you teach me how to ride a horse by any chance? All right, so... Uh, let's take a look at the party real quick. I am severely wounded, obviously, so that's going to have to be dealt with. But we're going to go ahead and get these guys leveled up. We're going to get some grenadiers going here. Awesome. We've got quite a varied force at the moment. Um, I just got to keep an eye on my money because obviously I, it's going to cost more and more as I level these people up. Uh, what about myself? Did I level up? No, I didn't. So... Uh, we're definitely, uh, is horse riding one of the skills that I can level up? Or is that something I have to learn at some point? Uh, let's take a look. I don't see it here. Horse musketry, is that it? Uh, reduces damage? No. Uh, how, athletics. My running speed. Shield riding, there it is right there. So I've got to level up my riding skill so I can start riding horses. But for now, let's just kind of take a look at the situation. Uh, in my party, uh, we've got one uh, of these Grenadiers veterans, uh, and, and there's this kind of level uh, progression that they can go through as they get more and more experienced. I've still got 25 men. I've got eight of these Fusiliers now, um, and I guess there's probably a way that we can look at them and learn more about them, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So morale is excellent. Uh, and we're just going to have to kind of get used to how to fight battles and how to deal with all these different things that go along with it. But I'm going to start really kind of immersing myself into the story now. I've really got to start building relationships. I've got to become part of the military, fight in some of the battles, become a general, hopefully, eventually. And I can become one of the players in these Napoleonic Wars and maybe even lead uh, a Prussian army up against Napoleon himself. But for now, we're going to wrap up right there because, um, you know, this is the, uh, this is going to be a slow starting series, I think. The first couple episodes are getting my feet wet, getting off the ground, building up a force, building up reputation. But once it gets moving, I think it's going to get really moving. And we'll be able to take over some towns. We'll be able to really affect what's going on in the world. So for now, I'm going to wrap it up right there. I would love to hear your thoughts, your suggestions. If there's anything in particular you think I should do or you'd like to see me do in this series, please let me know that. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, how it works, please use the comment section below for that. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see more. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.